Hey guys, how's it going? Now 343 has just released Halo Combat Evolved for PC on the Master Chief Collection and I thought since Halo Combat Evolved has a very high skill gap and there's a lot of niche, nuanced things you need to know, I would make this 12 tip guide on how to basically make yourself instantly better. So let's jump right into it guys, let's go to number one. Number one, the first thing I'm going to teach you guys is quick camoing. This can be done with any weapon you can't zoom in. Assault rifle, plasma rifle, needler, and the plasma pistol. Each of these weapons has a different varying degree of how quick they will camo you after you swap to the weapon or if you shoot a bullet. Examples will be on screen now. But by doing this strategy, you are instantly becoming invisible or very, very quickly becoming invisible when compared to not doing it. I'll have examples on screen now as well, comparing the two times. You have two ways of doing this. A lot of pros or Halo C veteran players will fire one bullet with a magnum and then swap to the weapon that can't zoom in, uh, assault rifle or plasma rifle. I personally just like to fire one bullet of the plasma rifle or the assault rifle. They both do the same thing and they'll both have the same effect. So you can do whichever one is more comfortable for you in a certain situation. Number two follows on from quick camoing and is kind of the second step into securing power weapons on the map. And that's grabbing rocket launcher and other power weapons underneath the platform from where they're sitting. The perfect example of this in a combination would be Prisoner or Hang 'em High. I'll show it on screen now. And you'd grab the camo, quick camo with the assault rifle and grab the rockets from underneath the platform by just jumping up, holding on the button you use to pick up a weapon and it'll pick it up from underneath the platform. A good strategy of doing this is if you keep your assault rifle, you can fire a rocket launcher and instantly swap back to your assault rifle and it'll quick camo you and it'll be very hard for people to shoot you once you fire a rocket launcher. Alternatively, if you still want a magnum, you just swap out for the assault rifle and you play Halo normally, but you lose the ability to quick camo, which can cost you in certain 2v2 uh, situations. Number three is very self-explanatory, but I feel like I have to include this anyway, and that is do not hold down the trigger when you're firing the Halo C Magnum. The pistol, I'm gonna show the difference in the bloom when you pull the trigger, like one, two, three, four, as opposed to just holding it down. The bloom is really, really bad. It's very inconsistent, and do not do this. Don't do it, press it each time you wanna fire. Do not hold down the trigger. Number four, I could make a whole 50 minute video about this of all the locations that I could throw grenades from to launch weapons to yourself on Halo Combat Evolved. It's a very big part of the gameplay when you throw a grenade to launch a certain weapon from a platform to basically ensure you have power weapons for the entire game. Very quickly, I'm gonna show you some very easy spots to launch some weapons to yourself. If you can do this, it'll instantly improve how good you are at the game. And I really think you'll get heaps more kills if you do this. So number one is going to be a hang em high sniper launch. Follow the exact lineup I'm doing on screen now and throw a grenade. It will fly to you nine out of 10 times, 10 out of 10 times once you've practiced. Very easy to pick up, very important to do. The second one I'm going to teach you is on the other base of hang em high because often when you're in a high level game, it'll be a standoff in certain situations and you want to get a sniper at all times with how open hang em high is. So follow this lineup as well. Make sure you're in the corner for both of these lineups. So back yourself as far as you can go into the corner, follow the aim lineup perfectly. And for this particular one, you want to jump and at the peak of your jump, you throw a grenade. The last two grenade locations I'm gonna teach you very quickly are on Chill Out and on Damnation. These are basically to ensure you get the rocket launcher every time. So if you stand where I'm standing, wedge yourself in the corner for the chill out one and throw a grenade, you can basically stop yourself from overexposing when going to get the rocket launcher and will save you so many times that you don't have to jump across to that platform. The next big thing I wanted to cover is spawn points, respawning. I see a lot of in-game text messages that I see saying, oh my god, the spawns are terrible. What is going on with these spawns? I don't understand this spawning system. And I'm gonna make it very simple so you guys understand it. All you need to know is if there is a teammate in a certain location, they will act as an anchor and you will always spawn on them or they will always spawn on their teammates. End of story. The only time this is an exception is when all the spawn points are blocked either by teammates or enemies rushing in, they will get a completely random spawn. So they can spawn anywhere. There's no spawn zone locations or respawn settings that prevent them from spawning in certain spots. Halo Combat Evolved's original respawn system was made by three people in one week's time, so it's not very complex, but in a 2v2 setting, it means there's a lot of teamwork involved because you can actually manipulate it by jumping and moving to get in certain spawn points. 
However, for 4v4, it be kind of becomes a bit of a mess because there's so many people on the map, you kind of get locked down into one area, and that's the only place you respawn for the entire game. The next thing I'm going to teach you guys is using grenades in tandem with power-ups to get to locations you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to on the maps Battle Creek, Damnation, and also Chill Out. Chill Out isn't used as much, but it saved me so many times by grenading the overshield slightly towards me, depending on which way you're coming from. For the Battle Creek and Damnation spots, you are actually invulnerable while picking up the overshield. If you're no shields, you're actually invulnerable for longer because it's still charging. You can use that in certain situations so you can survive when you're being blown up by a rocket or other grenade explosives, so just keep that in mind when you're picking up an overshield. The Battle Creek one is so handy because you can actually get on top of the back of the base by grenade jumping on top of the teleporter and then just doing a simple jump up. You can get people coming through the teleporter from both sides of the base. You can get a vantage point into the sniper side which is on red side and on top of rockets if someone's camping up there waiting for rockets. It's a really handy tip. The other one on Damnation I use every single game every single time getting an overshield and it's simply just throw a grenade, jump up very easily, gives you access to rockets and then you can even grenade the rockets into the room to save yourself or you can grenade camera down which is what I'm going to talk about next which is grenading power-ups from certain ledges and you'll notice all of these strategies are basically a whole set of tips like it's a whole play you make you jump down to damnation you grab the overshield you grab the rockets you use the rockets to fire down the camo to yourself you get all three power-ups you're set you can kill everybody alternatively to that you can go into this certain spot here back yourself into the corner, line up to where I'm lining up right now, and you'll be able to grenade camera down to yourself. I'm gonna link a video as well for all the spots from all the maps you can use to grenade power-ups and weapons to yourself in case you wanna learn more. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you this one on Damnation, and this one on Longus, which I use all the time. It's one of my most hated maps, but it's really handy if you can get the overshield and the camo at the same time. You're basically invincible. 8 and 9 are just two tips to keep in mind when playing Halo Combat Evolved because you can use them to basically increase your gamer and basically instantly make yourself better. Number 8 is telefragging, so if you want to block them off from coming through a certain teleporter, stand on the teleporter receiver or stand in the back of the teleporter until your screen starts to go white. All you have to do is slightly turn a melee or even just melee and you can get an instant back smack kill on them if they're trying to walk straight through the teleporter. Obviously, if they go through backwards and they know what you're doing, it won't work consistently, but it's worked for me so many times, I highly recommend you do it. Number nine is a very handy glitch if you're ever playing Halo C BTB. I've included a lot of arena tips in here, but I thought this one would be very handy if you ever do you find yourself in 8v8 big team battle, and that is the vehicles in Halo Combat Evolved are awful, except if you're trying to splatter people. Now, if you slightly touch someone at maybe one kilometer an hour or one mile per hour, you will kill them. It's so easy to get splatter kills, it's not even worth shooting at the people. It's honestly hilarious to just drive around, as you've seen in my previous videos, and you just run everybody over, and there's nothing they can do to stop you. Number 10 is probably my favorite of all the tips in today's video, and it's button combos. If you've ever seen one of my Halo Combat Evolved clips and you're like, wow, how is he never reloading his guns? Or how is he punching twice? This is how you do it. Very simple to do. The backpack reload glitch is you just press reload twice and swap weapons and your gun will automatically reload while you're shooting your other gun and you never have to reload a gun again. For the double melee glitch or the double melee button combo, all you have to do is hit melee, grenade, melee. That's it. Melee, grenade, melee. If you do that, you'll do two punches in quick succession. If you fire a little bit of your assault rifle or one pistol shot, you will kill them with a double melee kill and it's very, very effective at close ranges. Number 11 is another handy hint, but it kind of comes in handy, especially on Battle Creek, and that is walking up ladders backwards. If you wedge yourself in a ladder and look slightly down, your character will automatically walk up the ladder backwards. You can hold yourself in that position on a certain part of that ladder if you start getting shot and you can shoot them back so you're not exposed. So say you're going up the ladder and you're going up there normally, you can get shot and easily killed. In this way, you can protect yourself and kill someone while you're going up the ladder. The final tip for this video, and I specifically left this for the end, is weapon respawn times in Halo Combat Evolved. They're very different from every other Halo game and I'm gonna go through them very quickly so you understand them. Some will vary map to map, but this is a general idea. The sniper rifle 
In other Halo games, will spawn every two to three minutes. In Halo Combat Evolved, it will spawn every 30 seconds. The rocket launcher will spawn every two minutes. The power-ups will respawn every single minute, except in a certain circumstance on Chillout, where it spawns two minutes for active camouflage, Overshield is one minute. Non-power weapons will respawn on the 30 second to one minute timer. This includes grenades and shotguns and plasma rifles and weapons that you wouldn't consider to be power weapons. So just keep that in mind if you're around the map. That's 30 seconds, one minute, one minute, 30, two minutes, etc. There is always a timer in the bottom right hand corner of your game, either ascending or descending in time, depending on what you have it set to. Watch the timer, get power weapons and power ups accordingly. It'll basically make you 10 times better than you are right now. All right, guys, that's 10 tips to make you instantly better at Halo Combat Evolved now that it's on PC for the Master Chief Collection. Hopefully, you learned something you didn't know already. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.